So dateless is what is referred to as a full node, which means it downloads the full blockchain on your computer and verifies the full blockchain. Okay. And so that's nice because then you're participating in the decentralization of the network. Um, and you have, you know, the whole blockchain synced on your local, local computer. And no matter what happens, you know, you can be confident that you have the Cardano blockchain and, and you know, you can verify everything yourself. The downside is obviously that this requires, you know, a certain bandwidth to download all the connect, all, all the blocks and a certain amount of storage to store the, the full blockchain. Mm -hmm. Now the Cardano blockchain is not that big. Obviously it, it will grow over time as we add more features like smart contracts and, and, and Hydra for sharding and so on. Um, and so there's, there's a certain accessibility problem with, with the solution. And so Yuroi is what's called a light wallet, which means it doesn't download the full history of the blockchain. Instead, it queries um, our, our network and asks, okay, what transactions do I have for, for this wallet? And then we return the transactions. Only, only, we only return what's relevant to you, basically. So instead of having to download the full Cardano blockchain, you only download the very small subset of, you know, which parts you need to get your transaction history. So this is uh, much easier because it allows us to, you know, run this in a web browser or in a mobile phone, which helps a lot with accessibility. But obviously there's a downside that, you, you know, you don't have the full um, wallet stored. So we think there's, there's a use case for, for both applications. And, you know, they, they both have a comparable amount of security if you use a hardware wallet. Um, and so if you're a hardware wallet user, you're more than welcome to use both. For the Yoda extension, we have, uh, we spend a lot of time on security because, you know, a lot of people have doubts about using mm -hmm. stuff in the web browsers, which is why we made the Yoda extension a browser extension and not a website. Because if it's a website, um, it's very hard to guarantee any security about it. Uh, there's been many, many hacks in the past where websites get swapped or hacked and so on. But with the browser extension, um, it's uploaded to, you know, the Google store, the Firefox store. You have to download it, which verifies the data. And then once you download the extension, it doesn't download um, the page from our server. Like the extension is stored on your device. And so there's no way for something to just randomly switch. And so this provides a lot of the same securities you would get from a desktop application. Uh, while still giving you the ease of use.